as you could see, meron tayong different na um, reagents. Uh, you have here your wells. Ito po. So, you have here your wells and may mga pellets rin siya, as you could see. So, these are your reagents. So, yun yung i-hydrate ng um, hydration solution natin. Ito, so you'd have the different processes. So, may, may extraction na mangyayari. Yun yung bead beating. Yan. And meron rin purification. Same as your PCR. Say, first stage PCR. First, uh, second stage PCR. And as you could see here is your black array. So, your honeycomb array, dyan magkakaroon ng reaction. Tapos, magkakaroon siya ng fluorescence. And yung fluorescence na yun, um, 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 3 na madetect na nag-fluoresce based on melting peaks automatically it will be flagged out as detected. Okay. So each individual position has a specific target. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yan. So yung pwede mo siyang hawakan, pwede mo siyang hawakan dito sa so wells. Wag na po hawakan yung array. Yan. So film okay lang rin basta wag lang yung area na to kasi nagugulo siya. Pwede na let's say may powder yung gloves natin, palagyan siya ng ng powder or may fingerprints and all. So pwede mag-refraction. Next is insert mo lang siya. So again, within 30 minutes, dapat ma-load na natin siya or marang. Start mo na siya dito. Ayan. And push. So, stand, parang stand lang talaga siya. Ayan. So nothing nothing happens inside naman. So may stand lang rin. Ayan. Tapos, meron tayong color coding. So, blue and red. So, tapos meron ka rin blue and red. Ayan. Next is, um, may pointing arrow tayo na tumuturo. Yan, on the inlet. Yan, same as with this one, on the inlet. Diyan itutusok yung hydration solution natin and your sample injection via it. Yan, but first, uunahin natin si, si hydration solution. So, you have your hydration solution, yung color blue. Clockwise twist lang po. Sige ma'am. Clockwise twisting. So, twist na lang po siya. Kapila. Counter. Clockwise. Ay, counter clockwise pala. <laughs> Yan. Yeah. Counter clockwise. Pwede po ditawakan? Apo. Yan. So Ay, usually, okay. parang makakapa mo naman yan. One hand technique na lang rin. Um, press down mo lang siya, then twist. Yan. Aim nyo lang po siya dyan. Patong nyo po muna. Yes. On your inlet. Patong lang po muna. Yan. Tapos may barrier po siya dyan. As you could see, nakastop lang po siya on that area. Next is, i-break natin yung barrier. So press down nyo po. Hard. Sige pa po. Down. Yan. Ayun, okay. So, dapat ibagsak na po siya ng biglaan. Yan. Tapos, as you could see, all those wells are hydrated. Kanina, may reagents po tayo dyan. Yan. So, dapat um, walang empty or may, yung mga empty positions kanina na fill in. In cases na may makita kayo na in cases na may makita kayo na may na, hindi na lagyan, hindi na lagyan ng laman, um, document, take a picture, tapos um, forward na po kay Ma'am Des that would be good for pouch replacement rin. So, meaning, okay. sumingaw na po yung bilis, vacuum nun. Ang bilis nung ganun na. Yes. So, dapat, yun, dapat biglaan rin po yung pagbagsak ng um, ng hydration solution natin. Tapos, kung may bubbles man, yan, minute bubbles, yan, minute bubbles are okay. Tapos, on the 12th position, or yung pinakaduro na position, of may times na hindi siya malagyan, it's okay. Kasi, pang waste lang po yan. Kumbaga, excess fluid mm -hmm. na area. Yan. So, ito ang importante. Lahat na ito. Okay? okay. Yan. So, minute bubbles. Ito meron. Tsa konti. Yan. So, okay lang yan. As long as more than half or more than three-fourths are filled in. Yan. You're good. Next is, hayaan lang muna natin siya dyan. Next is yung sample naman natin. We'll process our sample. Break. Dispense your sample. And pwede nyo siya close and in invert or mix. Yan pa lang. Request yes. Na. Breast mo lang po. Yan. So, okay. mabibreak lang po siya. Parang sa um, Sa mga, yung sa oxidase. Uh, parang sa oxidase. Okay na po. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Ayan na pala yun. Uh, po. Ayan. So, dispense. Akala ko parang glue. <laughs> ay, hindi po. Liquid yeah, po yeah. siya. Ayan. So, dispense all your fluids. Sige po. Bubbles. Okay lang po na may bubbles. Pero, ayan. Medyo okay na rin yan. Okay na. Hindi pala naka-ano yun. Oh, uh, Pag-uno na siya itaob. Pag, uh, yan. So, pag mag-break, usually nasa taas. Para at least hangin lang rin yung uh, mag-push out. Tapos, um, next is your sample. So, no, now you have your hydration solution. I mean, your your sample buffer. Nalagay na siya. Then, nalagay natin yung sample. 300. 300 po yan. So, we'll be dispensing 200 only. 200 lang. 
Yes. So, yeah, yung 300 is used for your RP panel. 200 lang to. 200 lang ba? 3 oh. Hindi. Uh, 200 lang ang kailangan niya, yes, sir. Po. 200, 200 lang kailangan niya. Mag-stop ka sa 1. Sa yes. point 1. Okay. Okay. Ay, yan. So, now, dispense na rin yung 200 UL natin ng sample. All you need to do is close. Cover lang rin siya. Yan. And invert. So, inversion, complete inversions for 3 to 5 times. Yes, sir. Yes. Kailangan ba mabilis? Okay. Hindi naman. Mamix lang. Na, hindi naman nanasari yung pag-vortex. So, namix siya. Then, since in-invert, invert natin siya. Um, um, upward position, pwede din siya pitikin para at least sa needle walang bubbles. Yan. Kasi ito, vacuum rin yung i-dispense natin. Yan. So, dapat wala siyang air doon. So, you could pitikin nila siya para umangat lahat ng bubbles. Tapos, once sa pag-open mo, yun, doon na siya mag-dispense ko. Sige po. Counter clockwise ulit. Okay. Insert. Bottom lang rin. Yan, and press down. So, tingnan po nyo po yung first well. So, it should, it should be filled in. Press down hard. Okay. Yan. So, filled in. Now, you're good. Next is removal naman. So, twisting upward motion lang rin yung removal. So, na po si hydration. Twisting upward motion. Yan. Okay. Then, you could screw it in ulit. So, clockwise. Makabahan na ka. <laughs> Ayan. That was good for disposal na rin yan. Same as with this one. So, twisting upward motion. So, careful palagi dun sa sample injection vial kasi yun nga. Um, it's in this sample. Always consider that it's, in, it's infectious. It's mahirap dito. Kaya mo yan, guys. Ayan. Ayan, close. So, good for disposal na yan. Next is our pouch. So, for your pouch, um, kung ga galing man sa hood, pwede mo na siya dalhin. Let's say sa torch ninyo. Check for available positions. Ayan, you could choose any available position. Sige po ma'am. Tapos, may sasabihin siya, instructions is scan pouch barcode. Again, you could, you could hold your pouch in the label or pwede rin na sa wells. Tapos, you could place in your labels here. Pwede na barcode sticker ng patient. Or pwede rin na isulat nyo. So, dikit-dikit lang. Okay? Sige po. Ipad remove it. Tapos, sasabihin niya, scan pouch barcode. Again po. Yes po. Scan lang po. Okay. Next is, scan sample ID. So, if wala tayong barcode, barcode ng patient, um, ay meron ba? Ah, uh, wala. Wala. <laughs> wala. Sige po. So, you could click enter manually. And key in the sample ID. Ito na lang. Our patient. Pangalina. Patient name mo na lang mo. Si Fabio. Fabio. Okay, click next. Then, may consolidation ka dito ng data. Sabi niya, patient sample or sample ID Fabile Rodante. May lot number ka ng pouch, serial number, and yung type niya which is BCID 2 panel version 1.0. I-insert mo na na siya. So be sure that the label on the pouch is laid on flat on top of the pouch. And insert the pouch into an available module blinking blue light. So pati so, ko na siya i-invert sir? Yes. Ganyan. Yes. So, letter L, inverted letter L. So, dito yung, yung mga wells natin. Tapos, yung array natin is straight. Ayan. So, make sure na naka-flat ito. Ayan. Hindi, pwede nyo siya hawakan. Hawakan mo na lang. Tsaka, so, di. Napan yeah, yeah. Ayan, napan load. <laughs> Takot ka. Tapos, sige po. Sige na, basa ko na po siya. Yan, sige po. Insert. Okay, may resistance ah, din automatically yeah. hihilangin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so loaded na siya. Um, blink, kanina, blinking blue. 
Now it's blinking green. Next is maglalagay tayo ng operator information. So the operator information would signify kung sino yung nagrun. This would be for security purposes and this would also be displayed dun sa report. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Tapos, if ever na wala pa kayo, so you could click add and edit operator. Sige po. Just key in first name and last name, tapos username. Ikaw na kayo siya. <laughs> Isisend natin sa group team. Yung password, makakita. <laughs> Pare-pareho naman kami password dito. <laughs> Yan. So, yun, yun. You, could, you could customize your own. Um, pwede na. Somehow, Ayun, it would be used for tracking or... May required ba na dami ng... All caps pa na lang yung username. Po. Kahit 1, 2, 3 lang po yung password din nyo, okay lang po yun. Isa lang. <laughs> pwede naman. Yan. So, in-key in your password. Okay. okay. Now, start. So, you have the consolidation before running or before clicking the start button. Check if tama po yung um, information na nilagay. And if ever na may mali, so you could go back. If ever na good ka na, you click start button or start run. So, it would start the procedure. And ipapakita niya kung ano yung procedures na gagawin niya. So, hindi mo na siya need ng sarili niyang computer na? Built-in na po. Ito na po yung mm -hmm. computer niya. Yun. Okay. So, run in progress. So, gagawin niya muna is nag-perform siya ng calibration. Calibration is done every before running. Then, quality control is done after. So, may sinasabay siya na running na, na RNA and DNA process. Same as with your PCR2 na detection. So, next is, once na perform yun calibration, calibration for the whole analyzer or pong module yan, sealing of the film array pouch, i-dispense niya na yung, sa, yung fluids or reagents doon sa areas, and si-seal niya na ngayon. Yan, so may countdown timer tayo, so it would be more than one hour. Magkakaroon siya ng BDBT ngayon, so extraction of nucleic acid. So BDBT. Maingay nga siya. Maingay nga siya talaga. Maingay nga. Nag-create siya ng vibrations. It's not that quiet. Hindi naman ganun kalakas yung vibrations niya. But, usually, baka ma-apply ko man ko. Um, alam ko kasi, alam ko kasi, hindi pwede sabi na centrifuge si Gene Expert. Oo, oh, oh, sir. Yeah, kasi mag-fail, mag-terminate niya yung pouch or mag-fail pa. Ay, hindi ganun. Hindi siya ganun kalakas. Siguro na stabilized kasi mabigat yun. Hindi siya, alam ko ano na may nag-gagawa. So, sagit na naman yun. So, most likely yung mga less than a minute. Ayan. Yeah. Yeah. Sir Boy, ang ingay! Sira! <laughs> Sarat! 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> number five, I amin mean, na ako sa lahat ng ito. Okay? Huh? Sir Boy, maririnig sa nire-record ko. <laughs> Wala po, joke lang po. Okay naman na po. Yeah, okay na rin po yan, ma'am. Waiting na lang po tayo. Ayan. Uh, so,